Hello everybody and welcome back to another PSNs video as you can see here on the screen. Give me one second and today we're going to go over VLANs, virtual lands. Why? Because everybody asks me, can you do a video on virtual lands? Well, I can and I can't. I can show you exactly how to set up PFSense with a for virtual lands, but unfortunately I do not have a layer three or a managed switch that I'm able to you know, finish it on. But I will explain to you exactly how to do it. So if you have a three com switch, ubiquity, it's all the same process. Okay, we're pretty much need to assign an ID number and we move on from there. So first thing is first, log into your PFSense, get your PFSense up and running. We get down here to my little box here, as you can see, here's my virtual. Okay, so again, if you want to know how to make this, check out my previous videos. The first one shows you exactly step-by-step step how to build this. Uh, let me go here. There we go. Got a lot of things open down there. All right, so first things first, we're going to go into interfaces and assignment because we actually have to make the VLAN. Okay, now as you can see here, I got all my different interfaces, WAN, LAN, LAN2, DMZ. So we're going to go over here to VLAN. Gonna go click that. Now, parenting interface. This is where you want the VLAN to connect to, the switch that you're going to add this virtual LAN connection to. Um, I don't see too many people really worrying about outside of their LAN, that's probably why. Um, but nonetheless, if you wanna use in your secondary LAN or this, you just have to pick that. You probably won't pick WAN. Um, so in this case being, for tutorial purposes, we're going with LAN. Now the VLAN tag, you can make this any number, as you said, between one and you know 40, 94. So for this video though, we're just gonna make it, let's see, 50. I like 50, 50 is a good number. Okay, VLAN priority. This is where you wanna set your priority levels to it, so which one has higher priority over the others now. We're only gonna make one in this video, so I don't really need to have to worry about a priority. I'll put it zero there. But if you had two or three, you would say, I want this one to be, you know, zero for the highest priority. The other one will be one and then two, or they can all be zero. That's not, they'll all take, you know, the same priority as other ones. It all depends on how your network's built out. Description. And I'm just gonna do administrators and remote users. Pretty much anything you want there. So what I want this this VLAN to do is any one of our administrators or remote users that may not be working from home on another site or anything, they will be able to still connect to this. Go ahead and hit save. So as you can see here, we have our interface, our VLAN's 50. Everything's all the same, perfect. Interface assignments, we now have to assign it. So we have VLAN 50 on EM1, EM1's my LAN. Okay, I'm gonna click the add button here. Woohoo! Now we just gotta go ahead and enable this because if you don't enable it, it's not gonna work no matter what. So I'm gonna call this VLAN, oops, not 30, 50, what am I thinking of? Okay, IPv4 configurations always gotta be static. And then down here, pick an IP address that makes you comfortable that's not the same as the other ones. Okay, so if you have multiple networks, so for example, 192.168.1.1, if that's what you have on your network, this cannot be that. I also don't recommend making it 192.168.0.1 if your addresses are 1.1. Okay, I would say for the sense being, it's VLAN, it's, you know, VLAN 50. So for this, 192.168.50.1. Over here, pick your subnet. The most common subnet, if you're not aware, it would be 24. And then we wanna make sure these are unchecked because what this does, it blocks loopback networks. So when you wanna to connect to a 192.168.1.1 or any other networks on our th system, if you have these turned on, it's gonna say no. So we don't wanna do that. Go ahead and hit save, apply changes. And there we go. So now we have to go over to the firewall and the rules because, oh, I'm sorry, first thing we gotta do is actually give it a DHCP server. Okay, then we're gonna go over to the firewall rules. I'm just jumping ahead here. So as you can see here, LAN, LAN2, DMZ, and now we have VLAN50. Ooh. Okay. So now here we go, enable DHCP server on the VLAN50 because we need to do this because we're not going to assign an IP address manually every time. 
Okay, our range, you can pick any range that makes you happy. Preferably, don't make it too large. Um, so for example, if you know there's only gonna be 24, like say, it'd be, like say you put this away, 24 port switch. Okay, and this is the only VLAN for that one switch. And on that network, there is only 24 computers. Well, only make it available for, we'll just say 30. Okay, or 25 or 24 if you want to make it that specific. I don't recommend that, you know, but I'm saying you usually go a couple over. If you only have 20 and you're going to make it, you know, the DHCP range like this, you know, with 200 in there, that just seems a little ridiculous here. So my case being, I want to do from 100 and for my case, 120. So I don't want to open up 20 of them. Okay, down here, DNS servers, you can leave it as default, but I'm gonna go ahead and add Google and Cloudflare. If you have your own personal one, so we'll just say 192.168, I think 1.10 was one of them I had on here. Um, but like I said, you can also add your own folders and everything to it like that. But for this case, we're just gonna make it very simple. Now again, you always have the option of filling out a gateway, the domain name for this, lease times, but we're gonna leave everything here default because we wanna save time in this video as best as we can. Because actually we're almost done, it's pretty crazy. All right, so everything's all looking good. Everything's been applied to it. VLAN 50 looks nice. Okay, look at this coolness, got it. All right, so now we have to go to firewall and go to rules. Now, here's our case here. When you go to VLAN 50, nothing works. So if I go onto my manage switch and I type in for VLAN number 50 and you know, it connects everything to what it needs to connect to, all right, um, it's going to not get to the internet. It's not going to do anything. And we don't want that. So there's a couple things you can do. One, you can do go to LAN and you can pretty much just copy these two. So for example, you'll click on the copy button here and all you're gonna do is change that to VLAN 50, VLAN 50, and then change the description to default allow VLAN 50 to any rule, okay? So I'll go ahead and hit save. If you got your IPv6 enabled, you can go ahead and go back there and do this. And this is the easiest way of doing it. So if you don't wanna go in here and have to type anything crazy and just want it up and running and ready to go, this is the way to go. Okay, so as you can see here, let's go ahead and do that. Hit save, apply changes. So what this saying is right here is IPv4, if it's on source VLAN50.net, so if it's on our VLAN at all, any port, any destination, any port, any gateway, you just let it go. All right, say you wanna have a little bit more um, security all right so if i click on my dmz as you can see here my dmz has a very well built setup to only allow specific items now you can see here trace root ntp dns http ping blocking the web configure so i can't log into the web uh, configure it to change anything so there's a lot of things you can do i recommend probably building your vlan out like this depending on what you want only give them access to what they need access to um, and the same thing, I don't want the, the, you know, anybody from our VLAN to talk to LAN2 or DMZ. I don't want any kind of breaching in that case. Now in here, you can see it automatically, it won't matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and change that. So let me go ahead, actually let's go to LAN, LAN, LAN will be, nope, LAN, okay. So here, LAN2, copy, block, interface, VMZ. I want it to block that and I want it to be, oh, sorry. VLAN net 50 is source, interface is source, destination DMZ net, can block connection to DMZ. And that's exactly what it's gonna do. Okay. Now let's see, LAN two, perfect. So from here, VLAN, VLAN, like we did, VLAN 50, okay, from LAN two, we'll just say. Okay, so apply changes. So the way this setup is done now is it automatically blocks any connections from VLAN to LAN2 and from VLAN to DMZ. So these two it can't. 
it automatically has connection because that's how the VLAN is. If we decide to block the port for that, you know, if we decide to run the rule saying like this one, you know, block the VLAN from LAN, from LAN, obviously we will not be able to use the internet because we need everything open up on our VLAN setup to be able to do it. Also, we're actually bridging from our, to our LAN, hence the purpose of the VLAN. Okay, now from here, we can always add other things to it. So as you can see, my DMZ is all broken out. So here, I actually wanna add this too as well. Okay, and the reason being from here is because again, I don't want anybody who happened to be on our, our network to be able to get onto the web configurator that we have here. Click apply changes. Okay, and that's it. As of right now, our VLANs are all set up. Okay, so you can see here we have our VLAN, which is which is set up for that. Now you're on your network and you wanna be able to figure out how to actually assign this. And I understand that one. So remember the VLAN tag that we came up with? Oh, let me go back. Okay, that's the VLAN tag you're gonna put in on your switch. So you're gonna log into your Ubiquiti switch or your 3Com switch. And then when you get to the networking section and it asks you, you know, do you wanna add a VLAN, you would type in VLAN 50, all right? And like I said, that will go ahead and create the VLAN that you need and that's all you need. So I do wish I was able to show you a little more into it. Um, hopefully in the future, I'll get myself a nice little, you know, managed switch that I can actually log into and do all this, you know, a little further detail, but, I do feel at least you have the idea and understanding because as of right now, PFSense 100% is ready to go for a VLAN. Okay, so now whatever device you wanna connect the VLAN to, just make sure you use the VLAN 50 tag and that's it. So again, I hope this helps somebody and you know everybody kind of learned something from this today. I do understand it's a little bit shorter and not as detailed as I usually do, um, but I think it's still better than nothing in this case. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope somebody learned something and have a good night.